What's the deal? My name is Dale Cobra. Welcome to another episode of the podcast. We got a good show today. We're talking about uh, integration. Was it good for black people? I don't know. Well, it's me, your boy, Martin Luther King, a.k.a. Malcolm X, a.k.a. Marcus Garvey, a.k.a. Harriet Tubman's nephew. <laughs> Yo, with all those personalities, Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Harriet Tubman, brother, can I get five dollars? Because you definitely got something going on. <laughs> you got to have it. You, you ain't getting no five dollars because I also forgot I'm also <laughs> Huey Newton. You know what I'm saying? I'm all of them, you know what I'm saying? And you're Bill Cosby with that collared shirt on. I'm sorry, the collared shirt. Never seen you with the collared shirt. Hey, listen, man. Listen, man. Oh, don't yeah, worry yeah. about what I'm doing. It's spiffy today. We? But you don't even play video games. I call games. that multi-personality I'm disorder. You, hold, stop. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm, I'm man, complimenting li- you. Listen, man. You, you got that. I'm no, still... I just got out of college. I still live... I live in my mom's basement shirt on, man. Be up out of here, man. Leave me alone. You notice that he got the waves going now? Hair cut real nice with the collared shirt? You should wear collared shirts more often. I don't even like this shirt, man. Be honest with you. Matches your head though today, like nice and neat. I, I'm not getting involved. Cause you seen him last week. Was Introduce all, yourself, Liani. Oh okay, so my like goodness, dude. That's too, called man. multi personality disorder. What? That's true. What? And she's a uh, clinician. And uh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop. What? What'd you say? You heard me. No, I didn't hear you. Cause I was still arguing and with. I, and, and, and apparently. I was still was arguing bad. with Levar Ball's son. <laughs> He's, What'd you he's, say? He said you got MPD. Multiple personal disorder. No. Multiple black personality disorder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, I'll, I'll there accept it is. Thank that. you for that. Okay. So we'll have. we be adding that to the DSM uh, book, number six. <laughs> I'm Liani Perez. Hello, everyone. Are you serving? No. No, we don't do that no more. No man. more. So, went from so, ashy to classy. No, her <laughs> introduction is so whack now. Oh, stop. You're just mad because you can't brag on me anymore. No, because it was moving. I'm Leonie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm really far away. No, you're right here. No, like, I'm far away. Oh, so that's no, what you I'm... just want to grab something. You're so want. nasty. Oh, want. look. Right <laughs> Wait, but you can't move it up. Is that Polo? <laughs> Yeah, this is Polo. Is that polo. a white guy on your shirt? No, nah, this is Polo, man. That the real Polo? Yeah, that's real Polo. That's Polo or what is it called? That's real Polo, son. That's Polo, polo it's not Rolo. <laughs> uh, that's real Polo right there, dog. Check the tag, you know what I'm saying? Check the... Uh, uh, bring it right there. Go ahead, bring close. Bring close. Yeah, get bring it down. Uh, there, ah! Uh, by Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, never wait, check. Wait, wait. Ralph, yeah. Ralph, Ralph Lauren don't even like black people. What? Hey, listen, you asked if it was real polo. Uh, we ain't talking about who was Ralph Lauren, I'm just saying. You asked right. if it was real polo, it was real polo. Okay, all right, hey, man. He's still got his thongs on his toes, though. And you have different boat shoes on today. Don't crack on my flip-flops. That's sort of flip-flops you got in your car. I looked at William like, what? Those yellow pieces of paper you got in Yeah, the that's for a pedicure. That's why it's in the trash bag. They're oh. disposable. Oh, okay. I thought they're hard to walk on. You used to see me in Boston after my pedicure. I was trying to walk to my car. I was like, well, who bought these thin things? No, no, no. Are y'all done? Are y'all finished or y'all done? No. Yeah, yes, we haven't seen each other in a while. Y'all yeah, finished or y'all done? I don't know how to sit with this. If I go out, my toes are showing. What you do is you put your Well, nobody to told you to wear yeah. a family dollar so curtain. You put your legs together and you tilt them to see, the side. You know what I'm saying? She got a family dollar no, curtain without is, the rod. You know what I'm saying? This is a maxi dress. You know what I'm saying? That's not. That ain't no dress, man. You got that at Family dollar because they're closing some Look, of them down. And it covers my, my rump, so we're good. Then I get into a fight with that on. I'm saying. I seen a video of a girl with a dress like that last week. She got into a fight <laughs> on Facebook. She looks like a tropical dish rag. <laughs> You're such a jackass. <clears throat> oh, you All right, All right. you're done. You... So what are we speaking of today? So, so if, Go for it. Let's, so let's at, go at the, in. At the end of, the, of our last episode. We well, kinda... first off, uh, July 4th. Just happened. July 4th. You just gonna cut me off like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cut you off like that. Because you was roasting my shirt. You even try to get to what's up, you know what I mean? I cut right. you off. So go ahead. Do put on a collar shirt. Now you can just cut everybody off. I'm just saying, didn't July 4th happen? Yes, yes, yeah, it, it did. did happen. Yes. It happened. I'm sorry. Go ahead, man. What'd you do on July 4th? Nothing. I don't celebrate the 4th of July. My son and I and the dogs went to the park and just laid in the blanket. And what I did watched, you do? And watched people look at the wrong direction. Right, well, as soon as it went off, they were going off in a different direction, so everybody started booking it that way. Mm-hmm. It was kind of funny. 
Yeah. What did I do on the 4th or 4th mm -hmm. the 4th? On 4th, between... Before the 4th. Well, before the 4th is where I celebrated. I hung with my boys. We were out by, by this nice little house on the lake, man. Drinking, sipping, eating, chilling, playing spades. We was doing our thing. So, I don't know about you, brother. Um, we were chilling on the 4th. But actually, that was the 3rd. The 4th, I just sat in the house. Uh, actually, sure. I went to Garda Park. Because that's where the fam be having their thing. And Garda Park was... Yo, people really celebrated the 4th this year. I never seen Garda Park so packed. Really? As this year, cars <clears throat> all over the lawn. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, I didn't have no flag or nothing, but that's what I did. Cool, cool. And you mm -hmm. just stayed in bed. I watched some movies, chill. I don't really celebrate before. Cause he's preparing for the next day, July fifth. No, I don't prepare for the next day. I just don't celebrate the fourth. I just don't see no. no. no I don't see no what's the reason. July, what's July fifth? Well, July fifth is Cape Verde and Independence and Day. And they party. I celebrate July. that. Yeah. So you were I, resting and getting ready. No, not really. I went to work that day. Oh, you did? Yeah, but you know what I mean? Uh, we gonna, you know, my people's, we gonna celebrate all this weekend, so. We got the uh, Cape Verdean Festival Sunday, so we good. Oh, yeah. At India Point? Yeah. But yeah, I don't celebrate the 4th of July. Why not? Why would I celebrate somebody else's independence? When we wasn't independent ourselves. It just don't make sense to me. I know it's difficult because not everyone is is equal and, and, and has the same rights. They say people have rights, but it's just a, a, it was a difficult, for me it was difficult because of all the struggles that we've been seeing in the news and, and, um, and it's unfair. So 4th of July, Independence Day was way before we were emancipated even. Mm -hmm. And way before we even had civil rights, I mean, right? Yeah. So no matter how you look at it, you know, <clears throat> I, I, I see your point. Why were we celebrating? So it's Fourth of July. I know what it's. It's independence from England, and they wanted independence and freedom. Yet they didn't bestow that on everyone that lived in the country. Me personally, when I celebrate Fourth of July, it's really independence from work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I ain't got to work today. For what reason? I'll take it. Nah. So I work. Uh, I have every other holiday off, but it rotates. So like, I had the Fourth off, but I'll have Thanksgiving on. I don't celebrate neither one of them. But you so. work with veterans, right? Yeah, I do so work with the, veterans. So what's the vibe like on that day? So well, I mean, every veteran is different. It all depends on what mm -hmm. veteran group you're talking about. Like, if mm -hmm. you're talking about people from, like, war, men from World War II, mm -hmm. they love the 4th of July. It's a big thing for them. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, veterans from the Korean War, they, they like it too. Mm -hmm. But when you start to get to, like, Vietnam, mm -hmm. you get mixed feelings. Yeah, I mean, because some, some, some of the guys from Vietnam have a different view of America. You know what I mean? Because in World War II mm -hmm. and in the Korean War, when they came back, they were celebrated. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They were celebrated. Even, you know what I mean? Only, well, you know, the white soldiers were celebrated. The black soldiers, maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. But they were still, when they, they was, you know, they was glorified. It was like, yay, you know, whatever, boom, done. But when mm -hmm. Vietnam soldiers came back, uh-uh, it was nothing like that. Especially yeah. if you was black. You already, you're black, so if you was a black soldier, it was even worse. Cause mm -hmm. you you come back to a country that, you know what I mean? Don't really, don't really support anything that you're doing, whatever. Mm -hmm. Then on top of it, they're calling you baby killers and all that other stuff. Yeah. That was, so they, mm -hmm. when the veterans came back from Vietnam, they didn't get embraced like that. Mm -hmm. So you notice the veterans now that are Vietnam War veterans or whatever, mm -hmm. they have a whole different, they have a whole different feel for the country. They actually will tell you the truth about how they feel. Mm. Because they, like I said, they wasn't celebrated like that. And that, if you mm. think about it, that's Vietnam was a turn point for so many different events in the late '60s and early '70s. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these uh, mm. Vietnam veterans, they went through a lot. So they have a different, they have a different feeling of how they feel about our country. I know. You, you you talk to veterans? Are you, do you work with veterans out of, of uh, more recent wars? Nah, well, I mean, nah, not like, uh, what do you mean, like, uh... So, Afghanistan, that Afghanistan, started what, 20 nah. years ago, so... Yeah, nah, not yet, they're, not yet. They're pretty young. They <clears> yeah, they're be, still young. They would be probably my uh, my age, no? Yeah. Because I was in my 20s when that started. What do you mean? I just had... What do you mean, son. the war uh, with Saddam and the... Uh, the Gulf. The Gulf, Gulf. there's a storm. Yeah, that, that was... That was before 2000s. That was in the 90s. Yeah. That was in the 90s. Just, just curious about what Afghanistan was in 2000s. That's more of my people, more, more mm -hmm. of my generation, whatever. But mm -hmm. yeah, like I said, they have a mixed feel. They mm -hmm. have a mixed feel. Like some of them, I got to say, some of them mm -hmm. be like, you know what? Yeah, you know, whatever. But some of them are like, yo, uh, even though I serve for this country, they'd be like, yo, F this country. 
You know what I mean? Like they, I mean, it'd be, it's weird because they mix these guys with guys from World War II. So they look at them like, yo, you should be proud. And they look at them like, proud of what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it's crazy, but mm. it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Interesting perspective. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. So, mm -hmm. but anyway, um, what was it we talking about the last? Uh, integration. Yeah. Integration. Integration. And you were talking about. Um, segregation at the end and that's when we held up yeah that was when we had yes yeah, so we should probably uh well you talk about the black wall street right yes and that and the, the recent stuff that i've been doing the, the research on which is just the fact that affluent black communities um you know always being under the you know the mic ma magnifying glass so to speak mm. and so yeah, yeah. okay yeah. um uh, I I recently I was on Facebook. I watched a video that they're trying to ban from the school system that actually breaks down white privilege, and uh, it's like a track, and they show like how you know all through the years of white privilege, like how white people had a head start, or whatever. And they're actually trying to ban this out, so out of the schools because mm -hmm. people are trying to show it, whatever. Yeah. And I started thinking about that, and mm -hmm. I started thinking about the integration and and segregation mm -hmm. and whatever. And me mm -hmm. personally, I feel us as a minority. I think integration was the worst thing that happened to us because we wasn't ready for it. You get what I mean? Well, we weren't ready for it or they weren't ready no, for it? No, we wasn't ready for it. You can't integrate. You can't integrate a people that are sick mentally, physically, financially. We wasn't, we wasn't ready to integrate. Think about it. You can't integrate. You can't integrate uh, communities that are not on the same level. You know what I mean? Right. That's where... Um, uh, gentrification comes in as I said the right word right yeah that's when all right so you got this you integrate right now you got this community uh they come in they taking people out of these communities or whatever and they're scattering them all around or whatever but if you have your community built up where you guys own the property own the land have banks whatever gentrification can't happen because it's our neighborhood and our values versus your neighborhood and your values you know what I'm saying? So you can't say, all right, we're going to integrate, but we're going to take over. Because integration happened and they just took over. They took over a lot of the stuff that we was trying to build. Then. But this so happened, you can't this, integrate this, this if you're not like, what, ready for, for 40 it. 40 years ago. I think 40 I was, years ago, yeah. I was right. But bef way before that, they, the black community <clears throat> had Black Wall Street. Yeah, but then I they was... They were becoming, right? Right after the emancipation, and they started yeah. becoming more and more affluent. And they had their own yeah, we bank had, system and their yeah, own in community. In Tuscaloosa? Uh, uh, Tuscaloosa, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. And they had a few... Uh, uh, and they burned it down. Yeah, they burned it down. To the ground. Like, there's no... There's no... Um... So, think about it like that. All right. Think about it like this, I should say. You have that Black Wall Street. I think they had, uh, they had like, one hospital. Uh, they had, like, four or five different banks. They had a bunch of different mom-and-pop stores, grocery stores, and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, if you think about it from generational point of... Uh, generational wealth if that wasn't burnt down that bank and all that stuff those hospitals that the one hospital they had that probably could have turned into two and would have passed down from generation to generation right, right? those banks or whatever that would have been passed down for generation that's not being rich that's being wealthy what? you know what i mean so those would have been passed down from generation to generation and that would have showed that at least in Tus tuscaloosa or whatever you had multi-families that were actually doing something that was like, okay, cool, we're getting revenue, we're getting whatever. It was a leg to stand on. So the next generations can continue on. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it would be like, uh, um, what's what's a good white company that's been prosperous for years? Insurance companies. Insurance, Insurance companies, companies okay. Uh, oh, yeah, Bank of America, whatever the case may be. These banks or whatever, all these companies been able to pass down from generation so, to generation. So, so that brings up a good point that a lot of people, when you, when you try to explain to them what white privilege is i don't think they grasp they don't they don't understand what it is if you're if you're someone gave a good example i think it was um it might have been one uh, been a comedian um the guy that was on living color a little skinny guy that's always tommy davis yes he tommy said davison he, he said yeah. he said i'm not he said i'm not sexist he said but i'm a male he said i get advantages being a male as opposed to females because we know that sexism exists right mm -hmm. um so what he was kind of say is saying is there are people that benefit from white privilege not that they necessarily 
do something. It's mm. just something that just is, and they may not necessarily notice it, but the reality is that they actually benefit, right? So I think, w w to your point, I think what a lot of people don't understand is that you hit the nail on the head. The the racism is institutionalized and it's over time, right? So when you when you look back when you look at the back at the fact that a s certain families have things these days they have wealth because there was times where the government stepped in and gave aid so that they can build wealth. You need a loan, we got you, right? Mm. There was there was but when minorities needed loans, they couldn't get it. So let's you know we're going back, we're going back, right? So yeah. so when you see when you see black Stuff families and children yep. when you and children right. just get in the house or how many kids we got that are just being the first to go to college and things like that which means you know we haven't had it, our, our progress was delayed because one we didn't have financial support that others had so mm -hmm. that's an advantage and two when we did do something there's there is an active effort to tear it down Right, so mm -hmm. so you can't sit. It, it's funny to me when you sit and, and and they'll say, "Oh well, well, you black guys, if you guys just work together, everything will be okay." You cannot say that in the same breath when you realize that when people did do something, you actually go ahead and knock it down, right? So so if you got neighbors across the street and they're trying to build something, and you're like, "Oh, look at these guys working hard," and then you go and just knock their stuff down and say, "Oh, what do you got?" It, it just doesn't make sense. You, like white supremacy actively has a hand in. You know what I'm saying? It's not passive, it's active. They actively, They're still active. They actively have still a active. hand in trying to make sure that <sighs> people um, that are non-white don't have the advantages and to the point that they'll even destroy it. That, that, that's, to me, that's a problem. Well, I, a huge problem. You know what I look at? I look at the, I look at the, the KKK and mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. Somebody was really trying to tell me that both of these groups are intertwined and these are groups, whatever. I'm like... The Black Panthers didn't even survive 10 years. Mm. I don't even think mm. they made past mm. five. Mm. But you can trace the Ku Klux Klan history back to the 1800s. Mm -hmm. But, they, but the FBI made it a thing to infiltrate the Black Panthers and destroy them. Right. But they only looked at it from a, a certain point of view. They had to destroy them because they didn't want... You know, who was uh, they didn't want to see the uh, black people or whatever come together because everybody thought the Black Panther was bad, but they forget about yeah. the breakfast programs. They used to teach, they used to teach all their mm -hmm. members mm -hmm. how that you can, you know, uh, keep control of your community, all the different laws as far as having yeah. a gun or whatever the case it's may be. Self-help and protection. Yeah. Where, where, whereas the the Klan was ter terrorizing and you know oppressing, inflicting. And most of them abuse. were officials. The like, the beginning parts of them, they were officials. They were. Mm -hmm. They were officers. They were like back in the day. They were. That's why they. That's why they yeah. used. The, they covered their faces because they were. Yeah, because they was judges, they officers, doctors. People. They was all yeah. these different types of people. You know? But just look at the history of it. Yeah. You they now literally they're pretty, they don't pretty they, now they they show their faces. Yeah, because now. they switched it up. But you got like I said, Usually. you got the Ku Klux Klan that has a history yeah. over a hundred years old. We yeah. didn't even the Black Panthers yeah. didn't even make it past five. Yeah. Because we was broken down or whatever. Because yeah. they seen that we was trying to do something for ourselves. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. what. Mm -hmm. I just get upset when a lot of people say all oh, these opportunities. It, it doesn't matter what opportunities or whatever way we went. We're always shut down. Like I said, in the 30s, all right, we can go back from the beginning of the time. Uh, you know, when we got supposedly freed, as soon as they let us be free, they put in laws that will put us in jail. So they put us in jail. They got those free labors, which it still happens today. They use that mm -hmm. to get to, to where we are today. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, after that, whatever we, you know, but, you know, they let us free, whatever, but then, you know, we're not, a, we're a second-class citizen. Not even a second-class citizen. It's like I said, we can't do certain stuff. So then we get to the 1900s. You know, we start to build our own thing and start to show, hey, you know what? We're going to do our own thing. We're going to build our own stu stuff and do what we need to do, whatever the case may be. Boom. You know, they burn it down, whatever. Then we have our Negro basketball leagues, Negro baseball that leagues. That brings us to integration. Yeah, we have our, our Negro basketball leagues, our Negro... Uh, baseball leagues or whatever the case may be and you know they think oh Jackie Robinson take him out or whatever but they don't realize they put Jackie Robinson in in the in the national and well, major league base major league baseball league or whatever the M MBL yeah. whatever the yeah. hell man, I don't really yeah. I don't mess yeah, with yeah, baseball yeah. but uh they put him in there whatever but that actually ruined our league that okay. ruined the negro baseball league and yeah, that's so. When we talk about integration, I think that's one of the key points I wanted to make, right? So there we go. So, I knew I would come up yeah, with it. <laughs> yeah, right. Because we have, we we, and the, and Jackie Robinson is a good example. 
they told us, or at least our our perspective is that Jackie Robinson being able to play in a white league was a good thing. And it actually I, I, wasn't. We, we keep we keep carrying that being able to play in the white league, being able to being able to perform for white for for white folks, or be able to be a part of that a white platform. We think that's a good thing. Uh. But what we're doing is we're disrespecting our own culture. So like like Anthony was saying. If, if guys like Jackie Robinson, and if you look at all the athletes we have today, LeBron James and these guys, if they stayed and played in their own leagues, right, we would have something. But we don't, we never appreciate anything that we create on our own. We always feel like, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, you know, as comics and stuff, what, what is a comic dream? Oh, I want to get the HBO special. Or I want to, you know what I'm saying, I want to take, I want to take what I have and be appreciated by, you know, by the mainstream, which is, you know, white culture. If that yeah. doesn't happen, I'm, I'm not, I'm not happy. I well, even in the music, man, even back in the music, in, 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 in the music back in the day, uh, a good, a good movie to pay attention to is the Five Heartbeats. Love it. Yeah, I, I don't know if you ever seen the movie, but there's a part in the movie where they wanted to cross over. Mm. Yeah, because they thought it was so important to cross over, but when they crossed over, mm. You know what I mean? Like they was getting finagled. They was like, "Okay, we love your song, but let's have the five or the five horsemen sing it." And it was terrible. And then they ha end up saying, "All right, you know what? We'll we'll get you crossed over." And then they put out the album cover. And the album cover didn't even have their faces on it. No, no, it didn't. They had a heart with some, you know, it was like cartoonish or whatever, because yeah. they wanted to cross over so bad, and yeah. it actually disrespected them to even do so. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we look yeah. at the music like if you look at if you look at uh, all the music. We was trying to force our way to cross over, but we, in the process of us trying to cross over, we didn't realize what we was actually losing. We was losing ownership, and we was losing all the things that come power. with it. Cause you're, yeah, power, because you're crossing over, but you're crossing over to a white person's label. You're crossing over to a uh, white person's uh, genre and everything like that. You take what you have and you cross it over, but you're not crossing over ownership. You're not crossing over mm -hmm. publishing. You're not crossing over anything that, you know, like royalties or anything like that. Look at Motown. Motown mm -hmm. was, uh, you know what I mean? Whatever, mm -hmm. but it's not... It's not controlled by mo by any black people. Yeah, even BET and all that. Kind you know of what stuff. I'm saying? So we didn't. Yeah, we were so in a rush to cross over, but what do we get for it? acceptance? But at the same time, like you said, we lost on ownership. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's self acceptance is is that is what we need to continue to try and build to continue to build is self acceptance, right? Because because well, the fact of the matter is, here's, here's the fact of the matter, and I think I'm gonna even narrow this down to African Americans. Don't say, say like, Don't say that word. Don't say that word. I have to use it in this context. Let me, Africans let me you that live in the Americas. Yeah, I have to say that, and here's why, right? Um, because there are, there, there are black folks all across the world, but if you look at that, the Africans who live in the Americas, our experience, it's a unique experience that no one has, right? And if you look at that culture, mm. that hip-hop culture... Saying, Which we, is not we, ours anymore. But, but what I'm saying is... Yeah. We can do things that no one else, cultural-wise, influence-wise, that no one else on the earth can do, mm -hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? So, so the point is that's value. You know what I'm saying? So, just just take rap music for example. The fact that an African American person raps, the whole world loves it. Mm -hmm. No one else can do it. And, well, well, like, praise a guy like Eminem, and they'll come up. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. that's that's a that's that's a product. Our culture is a product. That people, the world is buying into our product, and that's just us being us. You know what I'm saying? But, but we're, we're, so, we're so blind. Already. We're so blind to see it that we give it away so easy. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. why people are making so much money off of it. We, give, yeah. we wanted to give it away because we we wanted to get the dollar. We wanted to get that quick dollar. I don't even think it's the dollar. Like if you think, I don't even think it's a dollar. Like I said, we're people. We're sick. We are sick. I hate to say this like that, but there's so many of us, we are sick. Even if you look like, I, I like to always go back into time. Yeah, everybody loves Madam C.J. Walker, but yeah, she did her own she thing. But right. yeah, look at what she did. <laughs> she made us, she made men put perms in their head. Yeah. So we could be accepted by another race. I don't think she made it. She just had well, a product. Well, I don't think she yeah. had a product. So men, yeah, I, I men get what you're saying. Choice, right? Men had a choice, men whatever. Had a choice. She came up with a product, but she came up with a product that could basically make you look make you more acceptable. 
I'll just say that like that. Yeah. Make you more acceptable in, in, in society as far as the conform, hair goes. Conform. 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 Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my, I have a problem with that because now look, if you look, look at how, that was what? Madam C.J. Walker's what? Early 1800s? Early 1900s? 1900s. It, it's 2012 when we still got women up in here putting weave and well, blonde I mean, weave, blue that's, weave. That's actually slowly fading away. I've seen an increase of, of people accepting themselves. That, huh? yeah, but it, it's, how is it <laughs> fading away now? Now, it should have never got started. When do we start going? You know what? Our hair is not acceptable. But that's a, I don't you know what I mean. But that's the problem. That's this, that's why I say you can't integrate. That, but... You can't integrate with the people that are sick. You have to heal yourself first. We have to understand who we are. We have to love who we are. Right. Yo, you. I, I was watching Maury the other day. At the end of Maury, they have a DNA test. They, still have, oh yeah. they have a DNA test for your culture. So I watched this black woman, this African woman. She's sitting there talking about how she got, she got, she's like, oh, my family, they talked about how, how it, we're Italian, how we got Native American, you know, how, how we got this. Not one time did she say African. Not one time, right? Mm -hmm. So the DNA test comes up. Pop, boom, done, right? She even said, oh, my eyes are slanted, so I think I might have some Asian in there too. The DNA test pops up. You know how they show the results? 80% West African. Not one time did she acknowledge that at all. She had a bullshit 10% Indian. She goes, oh, my grandmother was white. We're Indian. Mm. Mm. That's a good example. Of I, I, I said, what? Um, Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I, I got so emotional. Go for it. Huh? Go for it. I said, bitch. You are fucking eighty percent African. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sorry, I had to get that shit out. How do you not? How you not acknowledge? She really said, "Oh, my grandmother was right. We're Indian." Yo, Indian wasn't even past fifteen percent. She had like nine percent Indian. Take the test. The like nine, she had nine percent Indian. Lady. Like a little bit of. Uh, and I'm, she I'm had, curious. I'm curious to see when his comes out. His good yo. Show, like, all I know is it's gonna be like twenty-two percent, like Welsh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that's what. That's what. Hey, all that. Well, like, like. Hey, all that means is that you, you know, you, you're, you. You, you looking past race. what you are? She really said, "Oh, my grandmother's right. We're Indian." You you love that. You love that nine per. You love this much. That he's watching Maury. I no, I was at, yo, I was at, yo, I, listen, I wasn't, well, put it this way, I wasn't watching it to be watching, it just happened to be on, like, you know what I mean? It on yeah. 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 Live. He was watching it on but you mean to tell me you love this much Indian, which is, don't get me wrong, my great-grandfather was a chief of the Narragansett Indians, and I still run around saying I'm African. So, and I... It, I really want to get the DNA test Yo, now. <laughs> she had 9%. That's about this much. Do you got to say running around saying African? Mm -hmm. Can you just say saying I'm African? Uh, uh, run around. Because I do run around saying I'm African. <laughs> I, everywhere I go, people, I got an African medallion on me. I got African, ancient African stuff. Yeah, I'm African to the fullest. You got to do the DNA Yeah, let's do the DNA. They, they break it down to like four major things. It's just like European, African, this and that. So it's kind of like... Well, you're going to be probably half I mean, Drake. Have Drake Jewish? Nah, just Drake. <laughs> I know, I know I have friends. You <laughs> looked at me show. like, I want, I want to smack you so bad. <laughs> but nah, man, I'm nah, because your colorism, you're, you're you're very into colorism. I like to mess with, I just like to mess with you because it's funny. He's right, right, right. He's it's right. like yeah, Mr. Hotel. You're not he's, black he's, enough. His, his colorism you're not is black uh, enough. His colorism. And I am hey. not Latina enough because I live in New Hampshire. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but I know definitely in my in my family there is French, French for sure. Like if French. Are you allowed to take the DNA Daniel? test and there's no French? No, really, there is French. <laughs> you be eating all that French dressing and eating croissants yeah. for nothing. No, 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 no there's no Puerto French. Rican. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, Puerto honey. Rican. Oh, no, honey. My parents, no, no. Uh huh. Definitely Puerto yep. Rican. Yeah. Come out. Oh, can we do it? That's come out. Uh, uh, come out. <laughs> 30, Thirty-three percent Portuguese. Thirty-three <laughs> percent Italian. Thirty-three percent Asian. I'd be like. <laughs> I laugh at yours and yours came out so like Little like five percent average. No, I got. Now he's like. What? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, yeah, I'll put it this way. Much. I'll bet money. I'll bet money. I'm at least, at least a good 70% bet money on that. Really? 70. 20 bucks in the pool. Huh? Here we go. Huh? Because I just. How much I, you bet? Because I know. I can feel it. Every <laughs> time there's like... some African drums around, I have the need to dance. <laughs> You know what I mean, like, yo, you know what okay. I mean? Like, every time there's food okay. around, I'm like, it's now, in your why, DNA. Now, why I say that, though, when I look at, when I look at, um... You like, probably listen, good, listen. you probably good 72. When I, when I say, when I say Africans, uh. when I see Africans, like, they're really dark, man. Like, 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 like I'm talking that nice, pure, rich, you know what I mean? Beautiful we're like, chocolate. we're like, uh, watered down, like. In color, like if you look at the Af if you look at the darkest Africans Americans here, mm -hmm. and you compare them to like the darkest Africans, like it's a big difference. But that's not true though. You know, there's African tribes that are lighter than you, and me. Like the uh, like the Bushman tribe, they look Asian and they're light skinned There's some tribes that are light. Well, light. again, because of the because of the no. influence of people that came no. to to Africa. No, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. I well, love what people. To us. I love when people do that. Do the Bushman wrong? tribe, it is wrong. The Bushman tribe has not been integrated by another or influenced. Oh, they came from another part of the world. No, they Everybody didn't come from, from another part else. of the world. That's another, that's another, that's all right. We, the next episode, we need to talk about African history. Because everybody thinks that people came to Africa and influenced us. Call an expert? We didn't, you don't, you don't come and influence us. If anything, Africans influenced y'all. Anybody else? Africans influence every uh, so many other cultures. Man, the Puerto Rican culture definitely influenced by Africa. For sure. All right. That's so, why. That's why the most perfect human being that they found when they did the genetic testing across the world was Puerto Rican because <laughs> you know, because of the Taino. Right, hold European, up. Wait, uh, I'm not done. Let me finish. Could you talk too much? Shut that back. Shut up. Look. Who did this type? Who, who three, said that? Three. Who said that? Who said the perfect think, human who, being? Who said that? Do you want me to Google that? Yes, please. I want to know who said it. Who said it? And the reason why is because there's three. Or all I know is cultures. if it's a white person. I, I, I Google Google it. European and African. No, in I, that. I agree. I said that I think to you about a year cool. ago. Actually, I think that's cool. I disagree. I said that a year I don't, ago. No, I appreciate that, right? But I don't think anybody on the internet can sit here and say who's the perfect human being. It was a clearly ah. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I'm, yeah, done, yeah. yo. I'm done, yo. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. All right, so before we wrap up this episode, this real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, because we talk about integration, we talk about a couple of things. Um, I I, 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 I saw Jay Z's video. Um, oh my gosh, I love that. Save that. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save. Save it. Let's save that. Please, let's save that. Please, let's don't. But if it has, I don't know. Save it. it. Say it. Say, save it. it. Save it. We already know. We, we we know. I already know. Yo, the censorship is like terrible today. Yeah, it is. The but censorship I, but I, is awfully grumpy today. See, see, he got that collar shirt. I knew he was gonna come in here and try to enforce see? some rules. See that? <laughs> we need to save that because like we bullshit. can't we can't end with that. That is, I want. Ooh, that's ooh. Till oh, so the next know. episode, we'll talk about that. Can we please save that? Sure. I think I mean if you, if you, if you don't, that's good. To, uh, All right, we're gonna we're gonna come back with this. So come tune in next week, guys, because we're gonna talk about uh, Jay Z. And if uh, you guys didn't cop the album, go out and uh, find a bootlegger sign. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. You did say you're the perfect. I will say you do got a perfect skin tone, though. What are you seeing? How I'm colorist. Bow. Bow. I'm just saying, you got a good skin tone. I don't see it. See that that, bo that bothers me. Can we continue? Because that's some bullshit. Well, though. you got a good skin tone. Well, that don't make you no sense. First you got a good gay skin tone. Oh, that's gay as hell. Oh, yeah, gay as hell. How is that gay? Well, listen, buddy. you got a nice skin tone. That's real gay. Oh, uh, <laughs> listen. Oh, that's gay. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. that's gay. But that that that's the, even that comment is like. Oh, that's gay. Wait, hold on. He just besides being comedian. gay. Besides being gay, I think that I, like I don't like hearing that. Like you know what I'm saying. Cause I, I see a lot of people, do, a lot of people say things like that. You know what I'm saying? Compare like hair textures and and skin tone and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, why is it perfect? It's like, that's like it's that's all... a good skin tone. I mean, as long as it ain't. Active. All right. Does he got nice skin? He's asking. No, 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 no. I didn't ask you if he was wait, asking. Wait, wait. Does he have nice skin? Wait, wait. No. Homo. Does he have nice skin? <laughs> no, how is it no homo? Does he have nice skin? Do you wait, wait, think his skin is nice? His skin's nice. Your skin's nice. All right, then. So my what's homo nice. about that? What's gay about that? <laughs> so tell somebody you got, hey yo, you got nice skin? 
Now, if I see somebody with the eczema, if I see somebody with eczema, I ain't gonna say that. I got offended. Because that's not gay. <laughs> It'd be one thing if I was like, yeah, dog, you know what I'm saying? Your, jaw, your jawline is kissable. That's gay. <laughs> That's gay. I'm saying, yo, you got good skin. Like, all right, fine. You know what? Fuck, fuck it then. Now, I don't give a shit. Fuck it. I'm there with this Puerto Rican and her perfect ass. I'm moody today. Yes, you are. You are. We need to slide into some Jay Z. Yes. Yes. That's gay. Can we say you know bye now? You do. Uh, fuck it. You don't find him. All right. You know why? You know why? All right. I, I, we don't talk about Jay Z, but here, here's the thing. Let's go back to the Kodak Black. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Can we go to the Kodak Black? Because <laughs> the Kodak Black, you know Kodak Black, the rapper, he's made comments recently, and he mm. was saying things like, and even if he don't he, like a woman that's darker than him, and, he, and his name is Kodak Black. <laughs> Right. And, and, and a lot of this stuff is in the music, like mm -hmm. I need the red bone, this and that, stuff like that. So a lot of that stuff is like in the music. So in, in our music, we're, we're, we're teaching our young kids that, you know, dark skin is not beautiful. The beautiful women have a light skin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So I personally, I don't, I don't like, I, I have a problem with that. I think it's a problem. I don't think it's good. You know what I'm saying? That we, that we do that. Right. Um, this, this is how I look at it. This is how I look, I look at it from um, Malcolm X's father's point of view. Malcolm X's father picked a light skin that, uh, black woman. She's yeah, Octoroon, room, if you will. Yeah. And he was very dark. Yeah. And I this is how I always seen it. Dark skinned men like light skinned women. And I've noticed that light skinned women love dark skinned men. And if anything, if anything, it actually causes a balance. It causes a balance because I've noticed like a have you ever noticed like a light skinned woman, you'll never really see her with a light skinned man. I I that's I did for... You like dark-skinned men, right? I, but I just kind of started dating dark-skinned okay, men. Okay, I know, but... But before that, I was 24 years with Rocky, and he's whiter than white. I'm not saying... Right? I say majority. I noticed no, it. No, not no, not I all know, the I time know. it does happen. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean... It, 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 what, all right, what happened with Kodak Black is he worded it wrong. And he didn't no, know he how to say... he worded it the way he wanted it Yeah, but worded. even when he... Wor he when, said what he wanted to he say. He said what he wanted to say, but when you're in a public figure, he's young. I know what he was <laughs> getting at. I'm sweating because it's hot down here. What he's getting at no, is like, he kids. don't want a woman... What he's trying to say is like, he don't mind a black woman. He just don't want him to be the same color as him. So if he's burnt, he don't... He wanted her to be at least chocolate. But what does you know it matter? I mean? like, what does it matter? It's the personality hey, of the person, not the it, it's outside. No, right? that's, it does matter. It does matter because we all have our preferences. You know what I mean? So he, he likes, he don't, I get him. I understand. Like, he don't want, he don't want, what's your favorite so, actor? He don't want one of them, them Flavor Flav looking chicks. Whatever. Actor. What's your, what's your favorite actress? Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want one of them. I don't know. Which yeah, I, I you know. You, she from Central Falls, man. <laughs> oh, oh I'm not yeah. Going there. Um, What's her name? Nothing. Precious, his little sister. <laughs> no, but what he's saying, he just he wants a certain, you know what I mean? Like he don't want her to be, he don't mind if she black. He just don't want her to be Kodak black. I mean, I he mean, wanted to be Kodak brown. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Put it this way, it, I, it's I don't, okay to have a preference. But is it Everybody a material a that's preference. putting out there? Does he, is he is he belittling? Darker women. Yeah, that's what they're the music. That's, that's that's the net effect of what's happening, and that's where I find the problem at. I don't right. care if Kodak Black wants a Kodak white chick. You do whatever you want. Yeah. Everyone has preferences. Some people mm. like, you know, what I'm saying. Yeah. Everyone has preference, but if you sit there, it's a different mentality to say I won't, I won't, I won't date a white, a black woman versus. I choose to date this woman. There's a difference when you say I will not date a black woman because she's dark. That, that's more than a preference. That's a problem with with something. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to have preferences. But I said this earlier. Problems. We're sick. Much. We are sick, bruh. We're sick. Yes, you are, Anthony. But I think it's sick. <laughs> okay, we're going to end off my that because I think we came to a good conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> we're sick, man. Yeah. Now, I feel what you're saying, though, but we're sick. We're sick. Yeah. We're sick. All of us, we're sick. Don't put me in there. I'm not sick. No, you're sick, too. No, really. You just said Puerto Rican people are the perfect person, yeah? It, I'm gonna I, I, find that. I'm gonna I, show. Yeah. I sent to you. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you a European That's came up with that. No. My self-esteem. 
they, they, who, 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 what group of people said this? I ain't got no Puerto Rican in me. Uh, if it, yeah, all right, only way, sit here and tell me. Only way I will accept. speaking, because she had three different. Only okay, way I'm accepting Puerto that. Puerto Ricans come nah, from three different cultures. You're, no, only way I'm accepting that is if they there was a board, car, if there was a board of people that had all different nationalities and they came See, up that, the with that conclusion. that's the whole problem. I wouldn't believe it. I don't care who said it. Uh, I don't say it. Don't even sound believable. Doesn't even make sense. Don't get me wrong. There's a bunch of beautiful Puerto, Puerto Rican sense. women, but to say the they're perfect saying, one, they're saying because what? Human being, because they come from three cultures. So does a Cape Bird. European. European Portuguese. Um. Como es Puerto Rico? Um, European, Taino, Indian, and African American. Uh -huh. Or black, actually, African. African. So does the Cape Verde. So okay, but I'm just saying, maybe the Cape Verde wasn't tested. Uh, it was a, a group of, of people then that were tested. Then you can't say it's perfect man. if you don't test everybody. I'm just saying, I agree. I, I love Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. I love Puerto Rico. I'm just Puerto saying, Rico. We yeah, we're still on there. Oh, yeah, snap. Yeah. I told you it was over. Yeah, people was probably sitting there like, what? Yeah, we, we are acting up today. Listen, I love Puerto Rican people. I love a lot of people. I'm gonna post it on my Facebook page. But to page, say, but, to, but never, to go there and say, yeah. to go there and say you was perfect. That's that's not that's, all Puerto Rican. You reaching? They're saying yeah, that's they, reaching. They did, a, they did a genetic testing and they were looking at different markers. Who's they? And yeah, who is who they? One of the scientists were. I said that a that's year ago problem, to you guys. You don't remember when I yeah, said it's it to you? Yeah, in my recycle bin. <laughs> I'm nice about sport. to hit y'all with a rest book. I'm gonna put it on Facebook, okay? Y'all yeah. niggas is tripping. I didn't say that. I mean, I like Puerto Rican nah, stuff, guys. but I, nah, I, guys. I can't. All right, we gotta, we, it's, it's late. Yeah, it's late, yo. We arguing we're, over we're, who's the greatest we're. race. <laughs> but we all know. He's perfect, and he's sick. Hey, at least I'm being real with it. Y'all wanna be perfect, go ahead. I just know as a people, we sick, so. As when you, when you, when you, when, when y'all sick. <laughs> he's sick. <laughs> Hey man, don't touch my skin with your with your with uh, oh, with oh. my skin. That's gay. Oh, 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 guys. I got a lot of editing to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of editing to do, man. Take off this good shit. Oh shit. No, leave it. Leave it. No, that's crazy. It's like, yo, you see this? Yeah. Put out a gay mixtape. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. We messed it up. All right. Uh, All right. Enjoy, man. Peace.